What up, this is Austin St. John, Jason, the original Red Ranger, and you are watching Action Activate. If you're not watching, why aren't you watching? You should be watching. You know you want to watch. If you're not watching, maybe you should see a doctor. I don't know, man. Maybe you should call the Power Rangers. I'm just saying, because it's Action Activate, and that's where it's at. Much love. Action Activate! Action Activate! Action Activate! Action Activate! Oh my gosh. Action Activate! Power Rangers, Action Activate! Action! Activate! Action Activate! Action Activate! Thumb Activate! Action Activate! Action Activate! Action Activate! Action Activate! Oh, I can activate the uh, uh, Action activate. Action activate. Boom. Action activate. Action activate. Oh, hey. Uh, ready. ready. Action activate. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and everyone's a director around here. It's really hard. Help me. Action activate. Watching action activate. Alrighty. Well, welcome to uh, Action Activate. And I guess the first question is, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> so what? by that I mean, what is Action Activate? Well, Action Activate is a streaming show on Twitch and then later reposted on YouTube that does Power Ranger episode reviews, Power Ranger toy news, got some artwork going on. You know what? I'm just going to turn it over to the man who started <laughs> it all. Gasbot. Me? <laughs> yeah, Action Activate is our show. Uh, normally I do it with the Big Dog Defender. He's my co-host and friend. Uh, this is my current co-host and friend, Steve Andrino. Uh, and we stream live on Twitch, and we have interactions where people can chat with us and things like that. And we review the current episodes of Beast Morphers, but we also go back and do classic reviews. We do toy reviews. Anything Power Rangers related we get to. Uh, and I uh, primarily am an artist. I'm selling art inside a table A3, uh, and I do Power Ranger headshots and things like that. So I put that up behind us as we're doing the show. So it's Power Rangers, art, and chat, and things like right. that. Right, yeah. Well, you've also, there's something else you've done in there, too. What's that? Um, you've done, you did a lot of interviews. Like, I know you've interviewed a lot of the Ranger actors yeah, that are out that's here. that's true, that's usually, true. Usually little short ones, though. Those don't go live. No, not usually. Well, sometimes I, I also interview other types of actors, and sometimes we do them live on the show as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, speaking of which, you're, who are you? I mean, you're, you're my friend and everything, but why, <laughs> yes. why are you here at Power Rangers? Why am I here? Yes. Well, because I was actually the suit actor of Babu ah. for all of seasons two and three of Mighty Morphin. Ah, so you've got some clout. You've got yeah, some cred. Well, you've got some... Reasons to be existing yes, at the ring. Exactly. Stop. Okay. Excellent. As we said, I'm the black sheep of the family, but I'm still part of the family. I still think you should be the black and blue sheep. The black yeah. and blue sheep. I like that better. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Well, uh, let me. You know what? Let me. Uh, I'll put while we're talking because I was saying how uh, usually I have art in the background. Let me just throw this up so you get an idea of the art that I usually have going on in the background. This was me working on Mega Force Black. I, I'm. I'm talking, but who cares what I'm saying there? Exactly. But, um, this, I, I'll have this kind of stuff usually playing in the background while the big dog and I are talking. Or actually, you were a guest host on the show once before, now that I think about it. Well, you were a guest. That was a, yeah, I wasn't yeah, a host. You were, but you talked as much as a host did. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think that was actually the longest show that you did. Normally, it's an hour-long show, give or take. True. I think we went like an hour and 45 minutes yeah, on that yes, one. Yes, absolutely. Just because I don't know when to shut up. <laughs> No, it's because you guys were asking good questions. I got some good stories, and I'm not going to lie. I like talking about well, myself. Speaking of which, could you tell us one of those stories now? For example, um, how did you get a job working on Power Rangers? Okay. This is the 90s we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is 94. March, March of 94 is the first time I went down there. Right. Uh, I was taking some acting classes where I lived in Orange County, California. And one of the uh, women I was in the class with came in and said she had just signed up with an extra agency. This is agencies that specifically deal with what they call extras or background. So if Power Rangers, for example, when, all, when the Rangers are at the juice bar, well, it's not just, you know, the, the Rangers and Ernie and Bulk and Skull. They've got other kids mulling around in the background to make it look like it's full. The nameless masses. Exactly. <laughs> Those are extras or background. So she told us that she had just signed up with this agency that was doing the background for Power Rangers. And they needed kids that looked like they were still in high school to come do this. I went down, signed up for it. A couple of days later, they gave me a phone call. Hey, we need you to come on down on this day. Okay. They said, actually, we're looking for a couple of kids to be a little different. 
we need some punks because they're going to be in detention with Bulk and Skull. No, were you a punk at that time? Yeah. Was I? No. I was, <laughs> I was a nerd. I you were an learned. actor acting like a punk. There you go. Gotcha. So I thought about, I'm like, well, let me do that because there's only going to be a couple of them. This way I'll know where I am in the shot or with the scene and mm -hmm. I'll be able to point to myself on TV. Yeah, <laughs> this will be wonderful. So I came dressed in, you know, jean jacket and, you know, jeans and work boots kind of thing. Uh, this was the football episode where Tommy was trying out for the football team and then that's why Bulk was in detention and he was running up and down the aisles of the seats in a tutu. Of course, as you <laughs> yeah, do. Well, I mean, of course, yeah, there you when go. When I was in detention, I always brought a tutu with me. That's, <laughs> you know, if I, if I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in trouble this week, I better bring a tutu. Yeah, exactly. you got to dress for success. So because of that, I was only shooting that one scene. I had a lot more time sitting around. Well, then they decided, hey, we need somebody to fit this costume for Babu. Steve, how tall are you? I'm 5'8". Okay, what size are your shoes? Size 10. Well, come on, try this on. All right. So I hop in the costume. Now, mind you, at this point, I hadn't seen the show. It was a kid's Well, nobody show. had seen the show. Well, no, no, no. It was, oh, it was already on. Oh, right, because they had I, the Japanese footage originally. Well, no, no, no. Right. Um, the show I don't know what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> <laughs> the show debuted uh, September the previous year. Gotcha. This is in March. We're actually filming, as it was episode 59, so it was the second batch of the extra episodes the network wanted. Gotcha. Because the show had blown up so much. Fair. But I was 25 years old at the time, 24 mm -hmm. years old, working a regular nine to five job, right. trying to be an actor. So I hadn't watched a kid show. I, I don't know what's going on. So they try on the suit. Okay, great. We're going to give you a call Monday. We need you on location Tuesday. Okay. Go to the set. I'm in makeup at eight o'clock. By 11 o'clock, they say, okay, you're done. You can go. Cool. Try to clean all the makeup off. Real quick, I, I don't know if I asked you this. Uh, yeah. Who was with you in your first scene that day? What it, characters? It was me and Squat. Okay. The scene yeah. that we shot, which actually didn't make it to the episode. Right. Um, it was the part of the show where, for the same episode, the football one. Right. Where Goldar is training the putties on the beach mm -hmm. to impersonate the Power Rangers. Gotcha, okay. Well, there was supposed to be a scene where Babu, uh, me, Squat, <laughs> Squat and I dig up the power, the evil power coins sure. to use for the putties. So that was a scene was us digging it up. Right. And they said, okay, dig them up and then celebrate. And I'm doing, you know, evil monster. And, yeah, rah, rah, we're gonna, and they're like, no, you haven't watched the show yet, have you? I said, <laughs> no. I said, think goofy. You know, this, these guys are the flunkies. They're the ones that go out to, you know. Get run, all, run all the errands, <laughs> and that's it. I said, okay, so we did the goofy, great, wonderful, done. So I'm cleaning on the makeup off to go home. And I said, guys, that was great. Thank you so much. If you need me again for a monster or something, let me know. And they're like, what are you talking about? I said, well, you know, if you need this character again or there's another monster you think I can play, and they're like, no, this is a regular character on the show. You're it now. And I was like, what? <laughs> So your Power Rangers career began with incredulity and um, yes, <laughs> misunderstanding well. of the situation. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Much like Babu, so it, you know. Well, 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 like I said, and as we as we discovered, or I kind of came up with the theory after doing the interview on the show, was, and I, I admitted I never really liked the voice for Babu. I didn't do the voice. They already had a voice actor. And nothing against Dave Mallow, who did the voice, but I just, I just didn't think it fit the character. Until I realized, when we were talking, that Babu and Squat, even though they were locked up for 10,000 years, along with Rita and Golda, mm -hmm. they're like elementary school age. Yeah. Very naive, they're little very kids. innocent. Because yeah. you think about it, even the early episodes, the, when it was all stock footage, they still wanted to go down and sit in the bleachers and watch the fight. Yeah. So that's like having the, you know, the kids at, you know, the family barbecue and all the old kids and the adults want to go play football in the street. And you know, the little they eight-year-old, oh, we want to play, we yeah, want to yeah, play. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can just sit there and watch. Okay, that's, that was Squat and Babu. That's all that we did. You know, yeah, on the one hand, we were the bulk and skull of the monsters, too, but it's right. the fact that we were so much younger and so naive. Yeah, they were, so... they were progressing and getting older, whereas you guys were sort of frozen in time. Also, uh, I, we, on one of the episodes of the show, we did character alignment sheets like they do in Dungeons and & Dragons and yes. stuff. And I think uh, Babu and Squat and I think and Finster. Finster all came under neutral. Yeah. Neutral? Yeah. Finster is older, but more so because his he was focused on, I need to create this. This is right. my art. Doesn't care about anything Yeah, else. Reed is yeah. asking me to do it, or Zed's asking me to do it. I'm going to do what I want. And then, don't forget, Finster also was, was 
especially with Rita, would kind of fight back with her about that's not a good idea. That's not going to work. I imagine that she's just sort of like the the bankroll. Like he, yes. wa he wants to make art. She's exactly. paying for it, so fine. Yeah, if Zordon would pay him, he'd be like, that's fine too, as long as I can make my little sculptures. And, and that's what we yeah. said too, like with Squat and Babu. If Zordon Same. tried to recruit us, we'd have been like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is something different. This is fun. True. Um, so now on the show, you're not – the co-host normally. No, no, no. Uh, the co-host normally is the Big Dog Defender, and you and I have been getting along and agreeing a lot during yes. this show. Uh, yes, The Big Dog and I don't always agree. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you want to maybe, this... should we play a clip of maybe we're... Yeah, okay. yeah let's, let's, All right. let's, this let's is... hear uh, a typical interaction. I don't know if this is typical, well... this is... Uh... We uh, we've been reviewing the oh, we work together and not bully each other. It'd be nice. And they were like, the "Hey, guy. I'm Why, a bully." How is that in continuity? Now. If it was over the credits at the end, it, it still counts. It, it was in it. It was in it. And it's, there were episodes where it happened. It happened in continuity. Yes, but wall. even in those, they wouldn't necessarily jump in until something happened. Yes, it, they did. There's the escalation <laughs> thing. They don't want to escalate. No, I like how there. shrill your voice is. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm so Russian. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he broke. You're wrong. You should have jumped in, and you're wrong. Okay. And everyone in chat should agree with me because my voice has never got that. That was out. really that high. It was amazing. Uh, we did miss some chat. I don't even know if they're paying attention to you and me screaming at each other. Uh, I heard CNSV fan says, uh, "Lost Galaxy, Terra Ventures, something that happened in the '90s makes me think no one would care about robots in the Power Rangers universe." Yeah. yeah, but wasn't that in the future? That wasn't in the future. That, that no, was, was weird because it was we were reviewing the current episode, but we have live chat and people will bring up things that happened right. all through continuity. Yeah, so although I'm not a host of the show, I, I, I think I've missed one episode yeah, since you I started. Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty much all of them. Just because yeah. I enjoy it so much, yeah, and, and it's giving helpful. Them a hard time because yeah, people give we give each other a hard time. The, the audience gives a hard time, and uh, because there's so much history, very few people could know everything about everything. Right. So often, one of us will say something that is not necessarily right, and the the people will correct us, or we'll be <laughs> arguing, and the the audience will vote on who is Who's right. right. <laughs> you know, ninja steel, <laughs> ninja steel. That's the, that's the little action they do whenever someone decides that they're right and they get the point yes uh let me but to be fair i'm not gonna play this whole clip i just wanted to see that but to be fair usually i'm the calmer one would you agree yes usually oh, yes usually i'm the calmer one he's a little rage monster but uh <laughs> every once in a while he gets me going and here's an example of me losing my cool ranger blocks it and, and this it's kind of hard to see but there's a smear of energy so it shot oh sorry shot at him and blocked it and it's flying towards this car and this civilian now uh, you know, it, there's so much to focus on that it didn't occur to me until literally right now. What is she doing there? <laughs> she wasn't, like, hiding behind a barrel. She didn't come out of a door. If you look, presumably this is her car or that's her car. There's yeah. a lot of negative space here. And if you've never seen these kind of parking garages that are on rooftops, it's all flat except for the one entrance. She would have had to have been walking for a while to get here. Did she not see five superheroes fighting what she would presume a villain loudly with energy for the last three minutes? I have two rationales. Okay, hit me. One, she's hard of hearing and was just going to her car. <laughs> and hard of seeing? And she did Well, she didn't see anything because she's got tunnel vision on getting to her car. That's okay. Two, which may be more likely, she is so old and slow that she does see what's going on but just cannot move fast enough to get that's out That's worse. That's worse. <laughs> Both of these are very ageist of you. Like, well, she's just old and stupid and can't Well, live. if you look at it, when they resolve this conflict, they go 100% into the ageism. I'm, Who solves this? An old woman yelling at young I'm giving myself a one-shot. These are your two These are your two hypotheses, right? I'm the old woman. Okay. Battle, battle, battle. Oh, um, I don't see her here. Battle, 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 light, light, battle, battle. <laughs> That's one. No one is that deaf and blind that can still be out in the world that they would I not think notice. Your scope of old people is really <laughs> That's still out in the world independently. Okay. Two, the worst one. This is the wor This is the one you thought was more plausible. This is the battle. <laughs> battle, battle, battle. Oh boy, I see what's happening and I hear what's happening, but I'm very slow. Battle. Oh, battle, battle, battle. Oh boy, I hope they don't shoot near me. Battle, battle. Oh, laser. Oh no, a laser! I'm too slow to get out of the way. That's the more plausible. No, no. That's what I'm going with. I don't know. <laughs> you know I feel like I'm really revved up about this, but I think it's still from earlier. I still think, I think it's, it's left over. Definitely is from earlier. Because I'm like, I'm really oh. charged up about this, but I think yeah, I just got a lot of energy in me still. 
Oh man, the uh, chat is going off. Thank you guys so much. I am <laughs> yeah, so I sometimes lose my cool, but yeah. he does it on a lot more regular basis very much than so. I do. Yes. It's very easy to push his buttons. Yes, there's, there's just, certain there's triggers. one or two triggers yeah. to get him going. Uh, like when we talk about his favorite season, Soon. Operation Overdrive. Operation Overdrive, yeah, Overdrive yeah, he's absolutely. very defensive about when people are not happy with Operation Overdrive. <laughs> um, he, he's, Ninja Steel is one of his, like I think his second favorite now. And yes. So he gets upset when people attack that as well. Yes. But um, Moving away from the, the show we've been working on, uh, going back to you for a second. Mm -hmm. I remember you had a story um, when you were on set working with Amy Jo Johnson. Yeah. Do you want to tell that story? Yes. I feel like that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, my, my favorite. And I have not been at a convention with her yet to talk to her about this. But episode where she was turned into Rita. And we were shot on location in a cave. And Goldar and Amy Jo Johnson is in the full Rita outfit with the staff. And Squat and Babu were behind her. Well, the spell to turn her into Rita didn't quite work, so she was still Kimberly the Pink Ranger, but she starts acting like Rita. And she starts yelling at Goldar, and she shakes the staff and like bops him on the head with the staff. And then just because she decides to turn around and <laughs> bop me and Squat too, and she broke the staff over my head. <laughs> it's not as bad as it sounds because the top part of the staff was literally just styrofoam and she just went oh my god are you okay and i'm like yeah, amy i got six inches of foam rubber up here i didn't i didn't feel a thing probably the prop department was more upset with her i, I literally was like okay toothpick toothpick okay do it again <laughs> it was quick now the prop department got upset with me they used to have to the costume that i wore as babu was the original costume from the sentai series so it had been sitting in a box for 15 some odd years before I even got into it. Well, a couple people did a stray episode here and there, season one. But the costume was in such bad shape, they literally had to paint it and patch it the night before they were gonna shoot to make it camera ready. And I actually have a photo with the booth, of the Christmas, the Christmas Halloween card with Squat and Babu, right. where you can see Little the tears and, in it, yeah. and the white spots, and where the paints come off. And one day they had were also on location. They had patched a hole in the wrist of the costume. The whole costume was one piece except for the shoes and the head. And it was zipped up the back. Yeah, it zipped all the way up the back. So I had to step into it, slide my hands into the arms, then they'd put the head on. Did they do the makeup before you got in the suit or after? Oh, definitely before. Okay. I was in makeup. I usually have to be makeup at if we were. At the studio, mm -hmm. there'd be makeup at 5.30. Right. So we could be camera ready and start shooting at 7. And once you got the suit on, though, did they have to touch it up or was it fine? Yes. Okay. That's why they would never... Anytime we shot a scene, it would be, okay, put the heads on, shoot, cut, and it was either what they call back to one, meaning go back to the starting positions, we're going to shoot the, We're going to shoot it again, we're going to shoot it again. So they got a take that they liked. Right. Or once they were done or they needed to change something, it would pull the head. So they take the heads off of every monster except me. Because I had the open face and the makeup, it would smear when they took the head right. off. Yeah. So, and their rationale was, well, you can breathe easily. <laughs> they can. True. Again, I've got six inches of foam rubber sitting on top of my head for hours at a time under studio lights. So by the time it does come off, yeah, you know. Um, but they had patched the wrist on the costume one day. And as we, I get into the costume, I have to fight my way to get my hand in. And I'm like, and I said, okay, guys, I'm going to tell you right now. Once I take my hand out, it's going to rip. And I said, okay, great. Thanks for telling us. You can't get out of the costume now. <laughs> what do you mean I can't get out of the costume? It's 7 o'clock in the morning. We have no way to fix it here, and it's got to be camera ready. You can't get out of the costume. Okay. Dumb question. What if I have to go to the bathroom? And they're like, Try not to, <laughs> but if you do, you have that ability, oh, right? Well, to just shut I, off your human I, body. Apparently, processes. that is Babu's one superpower. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so what they would do is, you know, when it was done shooting, they would unzip the back, and I'd kind of sit in a chair like this, and they had a fan blowing on me to keep me cool. All right, I'll, we'll go I like with, this pose. We're gonna, yeah. Well, because I had the hands and the fingernails. Yeah, yeah. Which became a problem come lunchtime because the fingernails on the suit were about this long, so I couldn't pick up a knife and fork could you use the fingernails as a knife and fork no 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 not sharp enough <laughs> again i didn't fight right they were decorative <laughs> exactly <laughs> um so i said well, okay guys lunchtime now what they're like oh 
get a PA, they'll feed you. A PA, a production assistant. Production yeah. assistant. And I'm like, what did you just say? That's their job, to take care of you. If you need something, you ask them. And I'm like, oh, you should not have told me. <laughs> but no, I was Did you good. abuse that ability? Nah. <laughs> in my mind, absolutely. Mm. You know, in actuality, no. I mean, they, they, I liked all the guys. It was a fun set to work right. on. I didn't want to mess with anybody. And don't forget, at this point, I think they had already changed out a couple of the Rangers halfway through second right, season. Right. So, like, yeah, maybe I don't want to. Maybe Ruffle I don't want to. <laughs> maybe exactly. Maybe they're going to change out some of the monsters exactly. too. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But now I have a question for you. Absolutely. I mean, I know you've done your artwork. Yeah. You've done that as the YouTube videos. You, you, mm -hmm. you do that as Twitch also. Yeah, well, kind of the way the show started was I um, I decided to try, I'm, like I said, I'm an artist primarily, and I decided to try a Twitch art show. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people on Twitch that'll draw live, and they'll draw for hours, and they'll just talk and stuff. But I, I couldn't see doing, like, quote-unquote, real work with that distraction and stuff. Right. So I was like, well, let me just get on there and kind of doodle and talk to people. So I, ha I started a show called Twitch Request Live, which I no longer do. Okay. And it was scheduled, and I would go on and say, tell me what to draw. And people would be like, Spider-Man, my dog, whatever. And I would just, you know, real quick draw as best I could in like five or ten minutes. Okay. And I would do that for an hour or so. Well, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> it was fun, but I got the same like five to ten people watching every single week. It did, wouldn't grow, and I would literally be like, oh, look, it's so-and-so again with another request, and, you know, and yeah. so, it, and it wasn't, and after on Twitch, I put it on my YouTube channel, right. and I had a bunch of videos of doing conventions and art and other things, and I don't have a huge YouTube video channel, but, you know, on average, after a week or so, they'd have 100 or two views to right. start. These videos would get, like, six, 12, so I'm like, not a lot of people are watching on Twitch, nobody's watching on YouTube, but I was trying to make the Twitch thing work. And um, around that time, I got the idea, because I do a lot of Power Rangers art, what if I did sketched Power Rangers stuff and talked about the current episode? Beast Morphers was right about to start. And I'm like, if I start with Beast Morphers, mm -hmm. I can sort of draw some stuff from Beast Morphers and talk about the episode. I'm like, but then I'm also running the technology. That's a lot to do for one person. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I need a partner that can kind of keep the show going if I'm paying attention to other stuff. So I talked to my buddy, the big dog. Mm -hmm. He's my big Power Rangers friend. He's like, yeah, I'll do that with you. And we started, the first episode we did was reviewing the trailer of Beast Morphers. Right, right. And I was drawing, I, I don't know, Zeo Green or something in the background. But I used to draw live. So I would be drawing, talking to him, putting up images of the show and running all yeah. the broadcast. Ooh, and different. what would happen was I would either get almost no drawing done or be not really talking too much. And mm -hmm. so after an episode or two of that, I stopped drawing live. But I wanted to keep art part of it. So that's when I started recording mostly headshots. And right. it takes me four hours or so to do a headshot, like the one you saw me working on before and like kind of at my booth. Mm -hmm. um, and I speed it up so it takes about an hour. Uh, on, on the video. Right. And so now what'll happen is we'll be talking, I'll be running the stuff for whatever, the images for whatever we're talking about, and then I'll have the art playing in the background. Mm -hmm. And that's what the show became. And originally it was gonna be just to review the episodes, right. but Beast Morphers did eight episodes. <laughs> yes. In the middle of eight, they took, I think, two breaks. <sighs> and then when they finally hit eight, they took, this is not even the first half of the first season. Right. And they took, what, a four month break? Three months. Three I months. Think it was about three months. Three month break. And so taking a week off or two is one thing, but we were building momentum, getting an audience, people were showing up. And so we're like, well, let's do episodes until it comes back, not realizing it's going to be three months. So we're like, well, we'll do an episode where we do an alignment chart with all the characters. We'll right. do an episode where we talk about the history of the toys. We'll do an episode where this, and, but we're running out of topics to just be talking about. So then we said, well, let's review some classic episodes. Let's go back and review some old ones, like when the In Space Rangers met the Ninja Turtles and things like that. Yes. And some of those go over better because they're kind of older and campier, so we can have more fun with them. And actually, the last clip I have, you kind of set me up for this, didn't you? Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, one of the, the classic episodes we did was when Masked Rider crossed over with uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and we had some fun with that, so I'll just put that up right now. <laughs> Oops, hold on a sec. I have the uh, sound off by mistake. Let me just fix that. Um, but yeah, this was a two-parter when they were going to introduce Kamen Rider to the American audience as Masked Rider. Well... Let me jump in one second. This yeah, wasn't meant initially to be a two-parter because it's only a thirty-minute episode, right? And like I said, normally you know, the show is supposed, stuff. Like normally this. the show is supposed yeah. to be about an hour. And you wait, were you still on the show at this point? I'm trying to remember. No, no, no. Uh, okay. Well, because it was still Mighty Morphin, but it no, I was still on the show. Yes, yes. I was okay. still technically a part of the show, but yeah, because. I don't, yes. You didn't feature prominently in this episode, but... No. Oh, Actually, look, no, no, look who I'm drawing in the corner there. Oh, look at that. Hey, see that? He looks familiar. <laughs> That's you. Um, and I think, I want to say this is... This wasn't the first episode. This is the second... This wasn't the first time you put 
you drawing Babu up. You would put him up before right. a couple episodes, and I happened to see something on my right. YouTube came up, and I went, oh, that's the picture that right. Gaz is drawing yeah, to me, because yeah. <laughs> we had met at a convention, and that's when I started tuning into the show. Right, out of selfish uh, interest. Yeah. <laughs> Ego. And actually, no, this was a couple of part episode. It wasn't, but it was, you were guys that were going to try to cram all of them into yes. one hour and 15 minute we thought we could review, review them all but we had so much to say that it stretched it out. was so funny and chat got this is the i think the episode chat got the most involved with. i agree because we would making fun of the show and arguing with each other which yes. is what people like in the beginning we were getting along and, and being positive <laughs> yeah. and you know but uh here's the clip i think big dog's audio is a little bit low but you should be able to hear me okay put it on the screen so we see he says silence words have no meaning and second part, on a planet under the Cape of War. <laughs> what does that mean? First of all, silence, words have no meaning, is one of the dumbest things. Like, like that's something like a dumb villain would say. That does, you know, not the hero that we're supposed to like. And then on a planet under the Cape of War, that might be a saying from the 50s or something. But who has ever said not on it, a planet? It's not in on, under <laughs> the fog of war or never at said war or, But on, on a planet, on a planet, if it was just the city, words might have meaning. But on a planet under the Cape of War, silence. <laughs> words have no meaning. And he's, I don't. His voice is a little, not great. I don't understand how they don't fight with each other. Like, his own team fighting with each other based on everything he's saying. He's like, I can't trust anybody. Right. Except for my friends behind us. Who can <laughs> really match your squad of five? Like, yeah. just, oh, he's such a doofus. The only slightly redeeming quality is that you see him fight both Rocky and Tommy. Yes. Showing that he's clearly he's the strong. most powerful out of them. Right. But I see chat. What a word right like, <laughs> The, oh, okay. So with the fight, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. So Rocky seems to be like one of the only people not pulling. Right, I think he just goes out. Who cares what he has yeah. to say? <laughs> he's just talking about. Look how he's fighting. I like how the chat pops up on there, but you haven't done it in the last couple episodes. I used to do it all the time, and that's a, a Twitch feature you could have. Mm -hmm. um, my tech advisor slash wife uh, <laughs> said maybe not do that, um, and, and I'm, I'm open to putting it back. But basically, it would come up so that when people were watching it, it rebroadcast, they could see what we're responding to. Right. Um, because I watch a lot of rebroadcasts uh, where people are talking live in chat, and they're like, yeah, right, ha, 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 and you don't know why they're saying that. Mm -hmm. So I put that up, but she pointed out that nowadays, if there's a chat, what'll happen here, say something, anything. Just say, pretend you're chat. Anything, I don't care. How long have you been doing this? Oh, okay, so a gentleman in the red shirt says, how long have we been doing this? I repeated the question. Right. Therefore, so I, you don't need to see knows. it on the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have I been doing? A uh, little less than a year, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, oh, I've been, I've been doing art for ten years. I've been in shows for ten years. I've been doing YouTube for a couple years. But this show on Twitch and stuff, yeah, a little you, less than a year. You were about five or six episodes in. At Power of Power Express. Express. I had just which is, started, yeah. which is where we had met. Right. I, like I said, I, I don't remember the date, but it was shortly before Beast Morph first started. Yeah. That, you know, I had been on Twitch previous to that, but that's when Action Activate began. Hello, welcome. Hey there. Um, and then, yeah, very. It was funny because early on, uh, Steve was one of our first guests, and it was it, we didn't deserve him at that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since then, we've had lots of uh, Ranger people come and, and do yes. interviews, things, and it's been great. But at the time, it was barely a show, and he's like, "Let me be on it." I'm like. <laughs> If you want, I yeah. mean, uh, it's kind of a dumpster hey, fire right nah, now. But it, it was fun. I enjoy it. And like no, I said, I'm, it, <laughs> I, I'll be honest, and I don't think I've told you this shit. There's sometimes, like, I, because I do a lot of, I tr try to do a lot in chat. Mm -hmm. I've pulled back a little bit because, to be honest, I feel like there's sometimes that I'm almost kind of, like overriding you guys, or almost like you could never override pulling us, the spotlight <laughs> from you, and I'm like, I don't want to do it. It's your show. Yeah, I want to be a part of it. Well, but people dig it because you know, a you're a charming fellow, uh, but b you are you're Babu. Uh, you know, so you got a little class. <laughs> you know, <laughs> people aren't going to be upset when Babu chimes in on a Power Ranger show. Yeah, true. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I know, but again, I don't want the, I don't want people to go, wow, why does he think the show is about him? Why doesn't he do his own show? Which well, you know, why by don't way, you do your own show? That's by a good the way, um, I had talked to Gaz about this after we did the interview and actually on the interview. I'm a lot closer to getting it done since I'm going back home in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. It'll make things easier. I what am, are you talking about? There's a lot of preamble, but I, yes, what's the meat well, of this? Well, I am going to be doing my own Twitch show soon. What? Yes. My goal is to do it by the first of the year. That's kind of where I'm looking at okay. right now. Give me some time to get home. You want to actually launch it on like New Year's Day when no one will be awake? No, 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 no. 
I was thinking of doing it Monday at eight, but then I thought maybe that's not a not a good time. Monday at eight is when our show airs, so uh, <laughs> I'd appreciate if you didn't I was, do that. I was actually. really thinking of doing it Tuesdays at eight. I was going to do it the next day at the same time. That would be good, yeah. Just to make yeah. it. But I'm going to launch Babu's Monster Review. There you go. There's a lot of there's a lot of obviously Power Rangers content out there. Action mm -hmm. Activate being the best in my opinion, but you know. Take that for what it's I worth. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that, but I do agree with everything you say, so. <laughs> but there's nothing out there that really talks about it from the monster perspective. I mm -hmm. mean, everybody's excited about the Rangers, the Rangers, the Rangers, and you wouldn't have a show if it wasn't for the monsters. That's true. You can have a monster movie without heroes. You can't have heroes without a monster slash villain of some sort. Right. We're the stars. Oh. We're the cool ones. <laughs> we let them join it. No. Not like that, but it's to talk about more about comparing the monsters. Who really could have beat the mon who could have beat the Rangers? Who was closest right. to it? Who right. was the silliest name that now, they would came you, up with? Would or, you do just the main characters or would you monsters of the week? Oh no. As well? I, the first I, I kinda wanna do an episode order from Mighty Morphin simply because that's the show that I yeah, yeah. series I was on. I would start, then of course the first episode is, you know, it's introducing all the main recurring characters. So right. I would start with that, but no, I definitely want to do the Monsters of the Week. My thought is I don't need to do one Monster of the Week per episode. Right. I may do like four or five of them like a week at a time. Okay. You know, after we get through the main ones, but there's a lot of stuff to keep going back to with the main ones. You'll never run out of material. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, for example, you know, everybody knows Rita's catchphrase, oh, I have a headache when things go wrong. She said that a lot, but she didn't say it at every episode. Right. You know, when <clears> she yelled at us, she would call us different names. She would call us nitwits or... Right. Yeah. So just kind of keep a running tally of, you know... How many what's, times... What's she... her favorite you oh, know, insult to us? Oh, I see. Gotcha. And then getting back to what I said before about us being, you know, the... The eight-year-olds mm -hmm. in, in us the, being Babu and Squat, not Babu you and, and I. Squat. No, not you and Babu I. and Squat. Yeah, I'm at no, least twelve. You're, you're a know. robot, but yeah, but not, <laughs> yeah, not an alien. Um, looking back at the episodes and going over them, Squat and Babu, whatever we were tasked with, mm -hmm. almost every time we accomplished. Right. We got our job done. You started the Goldar plan. Yeah. lost the fights. The monsters of the week. We did everything. The only thing I started rewatching the episodes. There's one episode with the genie who actually probably could have beat the Rangers. Mm -hmm. Squat dropped the lamp and left it uh. and left it there. <laughs> and Zordon sent them to go get the lamp, and that would give the Rangers power over the genie, and that's the only way they beat the genie. So the only time you guys messed up was the only time that the Monster League could have maybe won. So far. Okay. So far from, again, I gotta go back and watch them all. Again, right, it's right. 25 years. My you know, they say memory is the First, second thing? I don't remember. Who are, anyway. what? Yeah. Are we <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, my plan is to do that and also tie it into other monsters. Yes, it's going to be focused on Power Rangers, but the inspiration for the Power Ranger monsters came from other things. Yes. I mean, the yeah. inspiration for Sentai doing it in the first place, I mean, it, it's kaiju. Yeah, so and mythology. That yeah. too. Yeah. So kind of tie it all in together. Right. Awesome. And so I have I, you to thank for that. You uh, inspired me. Well, thank, maybe. I blame. <laughs> <laughs> that, too. That, too. You know, uh, do we want to talk about the Immortal Red Fox at all? I think we can. Okay. I think we can. Do you guys know the Immortal Red Fox by any chance? It's an independent tokusatsu sentai-type series. It's on YouTube. It's got a couple episodes so far. Yes, he's by, uh, in right now. Yeah, it's part of what they call Texas Satsu, and there's a lot of representatives here, Deca Mexican and uh, the Jammingers and mm -hmm. uh, Time... Splitters, I think, but Immortal Red Fox is part of that. They're not represented here today, unfortunately. Well, actually, I think the suit actor is here, but he doesn't have a booth or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and it's created by, among others, a guy named Matt Palmer, who is a friend of the show and we know. Mm -hmm. And they have, I think, what, three or four episodes out? It's so far? three episodes right now. I don't know yeah. when the fourth one's coming. Yeah. And, um, well, if I can yeah, jump in go here. For it. Also met Matt Palmer when I met Gaz at Power Morphicon Express, and I have also been approached to play the head villain in this series. Which is uh, Lord Shinigami, is that correct? Lord Shinigami. Uh, the Dark Lord Shinigami. Dark, Dark Lord Shinigami, Shinigami. yes. And now, what's interesting is it's, uh, it's another, it's, well, it's sort of suit acting. You, you see more yes. of your face. Yeah. Going to be your voice. Yes, this time it'll be my yes. voice. Where did they, what is the costume? Where did they get the idea for the costume? What does that look like? Well, it's funny because he wanted to base it on Japanese mythology, basically the Japanese version of the Grim Reaper, and he right. had some ideas for it. Mm -hmm. But him not necessarily being an artist. Right. 
he decided to reach out to an artist that he knows to design. Yes, and unfortunately I can't show yes. that to you right now. Yes. But I did, I got to design the costume that he will wear on Immortal Red Fox, yes. so that was pretty cool. Yeah. We had plans to shoot earlier than now, right. but my nine to five job, I'm in construction, I've been working out of town. I actually go back home in about two weeks. I'm in Houston. He's in Dallas, so once I get Does back he have home, the, I know the suit's been worked on. Is it complete, do you know? He hasn't... I haven't talked to him in the last few weeks, so I don't mm -hmm. know if it's completely I've done. I've seen pieces of yes. it, but yeah, yeah. But I don't know if it's completely it's, done or not. I, I, I'm sure you're excited to do it, but I'm oh, yeah. I'm very excited, too, because... Oh, well, yeah. Well, hey, you're my friend. I'm happy you're getting this part, but, and I, but the idea that I created a costume that yes. is being made, that is going to be worn by you... That's I'm fantastic. Cool about that too. That's fantastic. It's it's it would be cool either way, but the fact that you're getting to wear it is, yes. is special Thank for you. me. Thank you. Um, I don't know if I told you this, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna be in the show too. You are. Did I tell you? No, this? you did not. Um, I, I don't know what episode. Okay. Um, but the big dog and I, and my normal co-host, mm -hmm. often Matt compares us to Bulk and Skull, which I can see that. And so he had us. We've already filmed it. Mm -hmm. um, we did it in front of a green screen, and he's going to insert us. There's not, there's no speaking. It's okay. just a lot of like, <gasps> like reacting. <laughs> and so we did like an hour in front of a green screen, just looking scared, looking happy, like every emotion oh, you could think awesome. of. And uh, oh, we're cool. like the comic relief background characters that he's going to throw into some future I episodes. I want to see that. Cool. I said, yeah. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. My yeah. dream would be that you show up wearing the, the suit, suit, and then we go. <laughs> that's yes. what I that I want that to happen. Okay. I, I don't know if that's how he's gonna we, put we'll, it exactly. We, we will, I, will, I will definitely put my two cents in to make that <laughs> there happen. There you go. That would be that now would be the incredible. show. That show is done. It's in Japanese right now. Well, it goes back and forth. Well, yes. Yeah. But he has also reached out to get some to do an all English version, mm -hmm. and he has reached out to get some talent to do some of the voice acting. Gentlemen, oh. you... Are you going to say it? You might have heard okay. of He's mentioned it before, so yes. I'm going to go out and throw it out there. Now, th is this for the lead role? The American voice of the of Immortal yes. Red Fox? Okay. Yes. Okay. The American voice of the Immortal Red Fox is going to be... Johnny Young Bosch. Johnny Young Bosch. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's Adam from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the voice yes. from Ichigo from Bleach and a million other things. Yes. So, yeah, in, 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 a, indirect, in, in a very indirect... Well, direct for you... And a little bit more indirect for me, yeah. we'll all be working together. Well, and Correct. you've worked with him before, right? Yes. So that, I, for me, it's a, yeah. I'm working it with everybody for the first time. Yeah. But for you, it's a brand new one. Welcome. <laughs> Come on in. How you doing? Yeah, I guess, uh, and it was funny because I, I met, said hi to Walter earlier. Walter although, Jones? Walter Jones. The original Black Ranger? Yes. <laughs> it's funny because although I did do the show from really the last two episodes of season one on as babu as bet well as babu and also did a, a little the bit of extra and work the, yeah, yeah, yeah and some other just regular generic student walking in the hall I did have, was that your most challenging role generic no, student very walking much in so, the hall very much so <laughs> i did have screen time at least as me walking by and being able to you know to be right on top of them filming and delivering the lines of right. austin st john and you know trini uh what's uh, tweet yeah tweet train. But never with Walter. Mm -hmm. And of course, I had the scene. I've had two scenes with with Amy Jo, and right. I had the one, that one with Jason David Frank where we trip her in the park. So I've worked with right. most of the originals, but not Walter or David. Mm -hmm. David Yost, right. Blue Ranger. But I have definitely had scenes with Steve Cardenas and Karen Ashley and Johnny Young Bosch. Right. So that's awesome. So, so it, it is a weird, like, sort of yes. unintentional Power Rangers reunion. <laughs> yes. Um, we're talking about, well, we're talking about Action Activate, which is my show. We're talking about art and Power Rangers stuff. Steve here, who played Babu, uh, and I are going to be involved in a new project called the Immortal Red Fox. It's not our project. Uh, Matt Palmer no. creates it. It's part of the Texasatsu, all the independent stuff. And he is going to be playing one of the villains in a suit that I designed, and mm -hmm. I am going to be playing a skull of Bulk and Skull-like character in the background <laughs> cowering. Yes. <laughs> um, but that was not the main reason. So... We're, how are we doing on time? I actually don't even know. We My are, phone is going. I, we are at so 11, we got, 11. So we got, we got 15 minutes-ish yeah, minutes, or whatever. Or take. Um, you guys have been here the longest. You guys are just coming in. Um, but does anybody have any questions about anything? <laughs> Art, no, about Power Rangers, Babu, Babu show, whatever. whatever. I will say, um, I have giveaways for people to ask questions. You already asked one, so you're already getting one. But if, you, <laughs> if you, any question, you get a thing. You, you want a thing, so what's your, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, quick recap. Yeah, you, okay. do it. Let quick me see. recap. Can Here we go. Can you do okay. it? Okay. Action Activate. Yes. Streaming Twitch show that mm -hmm. does 
Power Ranger episode reviews, toy news, um, art shows, artwork done by its co-creator, co-founder, Gaz Bot. Gaz the Gaz Bot. Bot. Yeah, Gaz. <laughs> Gaz. I'm just used to calling you, him Gaz. Thank you, Steve. But, um, I, Steve Andrino, was the suit actor for Babu for all of seasons two and three of the show. And we're talking about the show in general. I uh, said it's live on Twitch, so you can, if you come watch the show, you can jump into the chat and right. join and have your comments read on or questions read on air and get very involved in the show. Or I'm just, or just much watch. Week. Yeah, either way is fine. After the show is done, the next yeah. day or two, it gets posted on YouTube. YouTube yeah. And so we, we started with Beast Morphers, and we, like a few days after it airs, we review every new episode of Beast Morphers. But we also do some vintage episodes, and we also talk toys and everything else, and we do interviews. Yes. Steve was my first interview. We became well, friends. Second interview. Matt Palmer was technically your first. Oh, that's true. That's, I Matt forgot. was the oh, first. And Matt Palmer, the creator of Mortal Red Fox, which yes. now we're involved in. And that, yes. we're here, and Johnny Unbosh is going to be involved in, so that's... Right bizarre to that I could say that sentence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was telling somebody, I, I may have told you this, but um when I think about where my life is right now, like it's crazy the things that happen. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm from New Jersey. I now live in California. I never would have thought I would have moved to California. I didn't think I'd be making a living as an artist. I didn't mm -hmm. think I would, it, it's, I could sum it up like this. Uh, I was, and I'm not an outdoorsy guy either, but for some reason I hiked up to the top of a mountain like a month or two ago. <laughs> not something I normally do in California. Hey there, Gazbot here from Action Activate. Unfortunately, that is where the panel ends. Well, that is where the audio for the panel ends. Uh, the video never really was something worth showing. Um, we only had one camera, so I used it to capture the audio. Uh, and it was mostly me and Steve just sitting there looking at the audience anyway. I put up the audio visuals you needed. But my phone ran out of storage at about the 40 minute mark. We only went about 50, so all you missed was some Q&A, uh, which I appreciate the Q&A from the audience. And everybody in the audience got some prizes. We gave out some uh, Power Ranger figures, some of my art. Everybody got a pin. Hopefully everybody enjoyed it. Hopefully we could do it again and make it even bigger and better the next time maybe the big dog will come uh, but that unfortunately is sort of like a weird ending where I'm just sort of telling you what happened so thanks and uh, don't forget to tune into the live twitch episodes every week uh, at at twitch on twitch uh, at five o'clock pacific standard time eight o'clock eastern time and then rebroadcast on youtube the following day so that's that more interviews coming from ranger stop lots more interviews thanks for watching thanks to steve for stepping in and helping me out and uh, thanks for the big dog for well nothing because he wasn't there